and sit down. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Rural Report. And you are going to get a topside view of this episode in which I did a ultimate mini get home bag. And I weighed this. This is completely done. So all these bottles are full. Everything is completely full. And this bag weighed in at 4.8 pounds so almost five pounds um we'll go ahead and do a dump so you can see everything that i've got in this and if you guys think that i missed something leave it in the comments down below but we'll go ahead and get started and so i will start to break all this stuff down before i do make sure that you go and click that bell notification hit like and subscribe and so that way you can be notified for all the future content. But with that, let's go ahead and dive into this. All right, everybody. So we're going to do take two as I had microphone failure and change of location. So uh, we're going to break this up into two parts of my homemade mini uh, ultimate GHB or EDC bag. Uh, this one, I'm going to show you what I have on the outside of this we're going to start with the front move to the back and then in part two i will show you what's on the inside of the bag so first and foremost i have two of these gatorades these are paracorded in which everything that i have on here is clipped so that way it is easy access all this is is just a slip knot I can take it on and off, put it back on, cinch up the slip knot, and then I can carry this if I want to redistribute weight or whatnot, or if I want to give this to somebody or anything along those lines. Now, when I did this bag, this weighs 4.8 pounds, so just shy of 5 pounds. Um, this is a good portion of the weight. So if I was to grab this in a situation to where I was going to use this and try and walk home from wherever I was, my first thing would be to probably chug one of these so I can get rid of some of the weight and have an empty container so I can refill it with water or use it as I need it. But there's number one. And then number two is going to be flashlight, just a rechargeable, so that way I have a form of light. Number three also has a flashlight feature on this. We've done this in our gears and gadget video. Uh, this does give me the ability to recharge so I can do other things like my phone or whatnot. And again, another flashlight and side excuse for navigation for a compass. But there you have it on that one. This one, I'm sure that most of you no, there is your bivy bag, and I have this secured in here, but again, on a hook, so I can take this off. Next, if you come around, will be four of these glow sticks, or light. Next is a 25 foot of paracord, for cordage and other uses, and then the good old big lighter. Coming around to the side of this, is going to be a homemade um, paracord netting that I have put together. Um, one, because I like the extra paracord, um, but in here is some sanitary um, baby wipes. Uh, I think there's six or eight of them in there. Uh, this one's in the moisture, plus the bag is very convenient to have. And then the emergency blanket, and then I have the forever match that is on here. If you guys have never seen what a forever match is, 
all this is is this unscrews. You can see I've used this one before. It's basically kind of like your ferro rod. A little bit, you strike this, and then you put it back in, and you can use this over and over and over. Um, these are a good little fun thing to have, but that is on there. And a whistle for all sorts of reasons, but they're cheap and they do come in handy, so put that on there. We'll swing around here, and there is a um, homemade paracord bracelet. Uh, I put this on the top because if I need to, I can unglass, pull this out, and I can use just paracord if I want. Um, if I end up doing anything with any of this, you know, to where I use all this stuff, barter, trade, to get stolen or whatever, you know, I can pull this out. Or the reason why I put it on here is because I can actually clip this to another bag or to my belt loop so I don't have to hand carry it. But I like it. Plus, I like some of these bright colors because when you are out, if you do any traveling in the woods, um, you lay something down and then you lose where it is at and bright colors help you find it. So flipping around, there is my boo-boo kit, another uh, paracord bracelet. This does have the fire starting mechanism on it. Another sad excuse for navigation of a compass. Here is a knife right here with a ferro rod in it, again for redundancy. There's the knife, that we can see it. And then in here is going to be two things actually. First is going to be my cord so I can recharge, and then your multi-tool. So this gives me more knives, way that I can use things for, for the multi-tool. So this gives me, again, redundancy and things that I can definitely use if I ever need to use any of this stuff. But there's everything for on the front and back or the outside of the pouch. And then uh, we'll move to the inside. All right, so we just got done with everything on the outside. I'll move everything off to the side over here. That will be what was taken off. And then let's go ahead and open it up so you can see what all is in here. So number one is going to be the good old prepper favorite of the bandana. Multiple uses for one of those. Next is going to be a insulated pair of gloves. And then next is going to be a small thing of the hand sanitizer, which is a very good fire starter uh, way to sanitize. Uh, there's multiple uses for this. Um, always a good thing to have on you. Next is going to be a pack of zip ties. It's always kind of smart to have a couple of zip ties on you. Um, I just went ahead and threw the whole pack in there. Next is going to be, because I live in Ohio, is going to actually be a full map of Ohio, so that way for my navigational purposes, I actually have maps and different things that I need in here. And then, here, if I can pull it out of the, probably have to pull out the other thing so I can get to it. Oh, there we go. Book of matches, again for redundancy, multiple ways to start a fire. And then I have food which peanut butter is a very good thing to have, a roll of duct tape, and some fruit snacks, and a box of raisins. Trying to utilize as much of the space in here as possible. And then as you can see, the bag is completely empty. So if I can put everything into frame there, this is all the items that was on the inside of the bag. And then what we'll do is, as I put all this stuff away, I will do my final thoughts. So stay tuned. All right, so we just went through everything on the inside and the outside of my personal put-together EDC GHB bag. So your everyday carry or your get-home bag. So what I'm going to do as I repack this, and hopefully not make a ton of noise to where you guys can't hear me over everything, I'm going to give you some of my 
final thoughts on everything. Now, when you go through to make a bag, um, do not follow mine to an absolute T because every single person is going to be different. And then, if you are watching this because of the time that this is being put out, it is actually, um, well, tomorrow is May 1st at the time of filming this. I'm not sure when this video is going to be released, but I'm in very, very early springtime. So, for the purposes of this bag, my weather is going to play a very big role in what I choose to pack in my bag. So you need to make sure that you pack your bag to your specific needs, to what's going on with you weather-wise, and what it is that you're going to need for your travels, because everybody is going to be slightly different. I know I'm probably making a ton of noise for you, so I apologize now. But one of the things is you're going to pack, and then you're going to repack, and then you're going to repack. And that is completely fine, because that gives you the opportunity to go through and check things like expiration to make sure that things are not leaking, and to make sure that everything is up to date, and that you know you didn't end up upgrading to something that is better quality or finding out that um, you know something has broken or you can find something that is lighter weight now if you notice the one that i had on here was my pouch this is very lightweight stuff so this is a zipper that i end up using so you make sure that as you pack your bag you go through and everything makes complete sense on where you put it why you put it there and that things have, in my um, opinion, try and have multiple uses for everything. So that way you have redundancy. So that way if one thing happens to fail, or you end up using the entire, um, you know, everything for that, which actually, I want this on there. I'm already packing this wrong because I'm not paying attention. Um, so that way, for you, it makes sense for you. Your bag should really never match anybody's bag 100% to a T. Now, you can have a lot of the similarity of somebody else's bag, and that is fine because there is a lot of things that, you know, is going to be very basic. You're going to want to have food, water, things like that. Now, there is things that are missing, and if you built a bag... I would like to see it. Um, so for you, I can do a thing that we did with the $50 Walmart challenge. If you put together a mini bag, whether it is just a mini bag or a mini ultimate bag like I have here, you can send me pictures or video and we can pick some and post them here on YouTube or we can do it over on the Facebook channel. So that way you can take what I have or I can show others what you have done so everybody can get ideas so that way they can build their own and build it better. So if you see anything that I've missed, if you want to make some comments or some sub, uh, suggestions, go ahead and leave them below the video. And with that, we will wrap this up by saying to remember to remain united. We're all prepping in this together.